Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little bit tired of having to meticulously animate the hands in the Dream Team Theater first-person shooter project by hand. No pun intended. One bone at a time, one IK handle at a time for every animation. So I figured um, I'd try a bit of an experiment with a motion leap camera. So as you can see, this little camera comes with an SDK that interpolates the footage between the two uh, infrared cameras. And uh, essentially, we're getting data about the finger positioning. Oh, this is so cool. You can actually see I was, also, I was also experimenting with the Xbox 360 uh, Kinect camera right here for uh, full body tracking, which does work with NI8. But the problem is that NI8 is, uh, is being phased out. So it's like 220 bucks for... A piece of software that's you know it's going to be phased out so i'm like a little bit sad anyways i'm on a hunt for some sort of a affordable motion capture solution for animations uh, especially for the merchant character inside of the uh, dream team theater project uh what i have here is basically um well what i would probably say is a very quite satisfactory uh result for hands tr and finger tracking so this i mean you know be like holding the weapon, be like, Ch -ch -ch, right, just reloading it if I keep my hands far away. Oh yeah, this thing tracks my entire arm. How crazy is this? And of course, I say that, it loses tracking because I'm way too close to the camera. Here we go. Look at this. This is so cool. If I get in there, oh, there we go. Ah, look at this. <laughs> that is super cool. So anyways, I'm thinking of uh, trying to, to get like a Blender API um, in in place there is a there's already technically a library for an old version of blender but it's not it's not been ported to 2.8 so can't really use that this isn't exactly brand new tech by the way it's like i've seen the experimentation videos with uh with leap motion going back to like 2012 on youtube so by no means brand new tech but this camera costs 120 canadian rupees so realistically that's like about 100 bucks in us i mean this is pretty good for a hundred bucks in terms of hands tracking like holy crap man <laughs> um there are some like some projects available online again this is project that people have been kind of working with by themselves so uh, why isn't this more supportive <laughs> there's like a giant market for indie developers for a hundred bucks seriously man a hundred bucks you get this level of tracking which is pretty damn good. Yeah, sure, there's like a couple of dropouts, but look, I can basically like make a super animated character. It's like, no, 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 you can't buy that. You have to get this, right? It's like, like a, um, one of the one of the character lines could be like, a, hello, mercenary person. I have money and a problem, right? <laughs> little, uh, uh, little reference there. Okay, so um, gonna try to experiment with with Python. If you guys have any advice or any ideas. Um, for integrating this, uh, give me uh, give me a shout. But I'll I'll play around, play around with the Python and the plugin, see if I can come up with some sort of a integration method. Look at this, this is insane. You can like track which fingers touching your uh, your thumb. There's the object in the middle that lights up when you are grabbing something. That's so cool. Oh man, I could play with this like all day. It's like hey, ah. Of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Woo! Urgh. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna play around with this, see if I can come up with something. No, I don't wanna do that. No. Yeah. Well, this is kind of a kind of an awkward shot. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll end up doing something with this and making a little blender plugin that will allow me to record uh, motion capture. This is very, very, very cool for just only like a hundred bucks. That's so cool. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. And I hope you've, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed it at least.